In a world where amazing new products needed to be reviewed, despite the pouring rain, only one channel was willing to step up to the plate. That channel was... From the Garden of the Grills, welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0. Uh, welcome to uh, <laughs> welcome to our first product review of the new year, 2015. We got a great one for you too. Did you know the Grill Dome actually makes their own sear grates? They do. We're going to be we're going to be reviewing that in just a moment. I'm just waiting for this rain to stop, and as soon as it does, we'll get on with this review of the Grill Dome Sear Grate. The Grill Dome is already cranking. No, well, actually, it just started it, so it'll be cranking here in about five minutes, so. Oh, by the way, we've got T-bones on the new Grill Dome Sear Grate, right here on Smoky Goodness 2.0. Stick around, Herb. And here they are, the Grill Dome Sear Grates. I wanna thank Steve and Ashish for allowing me the opportunity to test these bad rabbits. All right, just like that. The grill dome's already up to about 300 degrees. I want it at least 500 degrees, at which time we'll lay these on there and let these things heat up. And uh, we're gonna make some kick-ass uh, T-bones tonight. So if the rain stops, it'll be even better. So stick around. The way that sear grate fits into that grill dome. You can tell it was made for the grill dome. Here are our T bones. And the big one that kind of resembles Michigan, that's mine. And uh, so far, all I've done with these is hit them with a little bit of Sang stir fry oil. And after they're uh, completely cooked, or at least seared. I'm gonna hit them with some Tango Spice Midnight Espresso. All right, we're gonna let this go probably about three minutes per side, possibly four because of the weather. Well, by the way, you hear that? Uh, what is happening here is some of the juice is already beginning to render off of there, some of the fat. It's hitting the bottom of the sear grate and vaporizing, and that flavor is getting forced right back up into the meat. That is indeed a killer sound. <laughs> Just gonna rotate them 90 degrees. Part of what this uh, sear grate is for, right? Again, we'll be back. Another couple of minutes has passed, give or take. Time to flip them. Oh, look at that, huh? Woohoo! Now that's what I call a good looking steak or two. Okay, we'll repeat the procedure on this side. Let them sear like that for a few minutes or a minute and a half or so. Do the 90 degree turn. And uh, I'm gonna pull mine off at that point after they sear, because uh, I like blue hair, man. It is, of course, at this point that I'm gonna throw some Tango Spice Midnight Espresso on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Final twist. Tell you what, the neighborhood smells good. I don't know where Tango the Cat is tonight. Probably uh, staying out of the rain somewhere. But I guarantee if she could smell this, she'd be here. Mm -hmm. 